Hello and welcome to Knock on the Coffin Lid. My name is Wee Rascal. And this is uh, a new game, pretty much. It came out early this month. It's a, it's a deck building game. Uh, it's, um, it's, 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 it's supposed to be really good. Good story, good mechanics, good cards, good stuff. So I wanted to check it out, especially after I played a little bit of Slay the Spire. It's like, oh yeah, this kind of this kind of thing is fun, man. So let's see. Ooh, the background moves with me. So let's see if we can uh, have some fun with this one, huh? New game. This is a tutorial that will introduce you to the game. You can go through it without hints or skip it in the game menu. Would you like to play with hints? Yes. This is your path. This is a regular battle. This is a camp. This is a vendor. And this is an elite battle. You are here. Left click on the regular battle icon to start the first event. So it's pretty much Slay the Spot. Ooh. Your turn. We'll leave when we've cleansed something something. We can probably speed this up. Here is your hero, a brother of fire. Here is his health. If he runs out, you will lose. Here is your ally. If they die, you will lose them forever. These are your enemies. Note the effects applied to the enemies. Hover over the cursor. Hover the cursor over an effect to read the description. Completely evade the next instance of attack if it steals HP damage. Studying enemy effects is the first thing you should do. These cards are your combat skills. All right. Each card has an energy cost in units of energy. This is your energy. So it's like the spire. These are different card types. These are attack cards. Play all attack cards in your hand. To do this, drag. Okay. You're gonna dodge. Let's get rid of your dodge. You've run out of energy. Click on the end turn. Oh, my poor guy. You're accused of demon worshipping. Don't tell me who to worship. Pay attention to the enemy's intention. He's about to attack you. The number indicates the amount of damage. The enemy will attack your hero. You need to defend yourself. These are skill cards. Unlike attacks, they are... Yeah. Oh, I should have done that first. This is your block. Because of that silly mistake, I will take a damage. Dum dum dum. Um, the enemy added a status card to your deck. Statuses are harmful card. Okay, I know what that is. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna read everything, man. Your cards come into your hand from the deck. Okay. No one's going to attack you, which means it's perfect time to play a talent card. Talent cards, okay, that's powers, right? They are removed. Your hero has gained the effect given by the card. Upon taking health, the damage, gain one strength. You have one energy left. Cards go for your discard pile. To view the discard pile, click on the discard pile. Click on the X to get out. End turn. Maybe a little... Like, unnecessary with the... Um, Curses. 
Yes. To go through like a super detailed tutorial, but I don't know, maybe. That you must burn it. The word is highlighted in blue, which means it has its own description. Hover over the burn. When played, it's removed. Okay, so I have to play it to get rid of it. They're both freaking defending. Oh, now play this card. Cards like this don't get discarded upon playing, but get burned. To view burned cards, click blame, click the blame button, the flame button, the burn button. You have item bonuses over, hover over them. Gain one attack damage per strength. If HP is over, gain two strength. You have potions that can be used to bottle. Use the armor elixir to use this. Why? Defeat the enemies to continue training. I will. Let's go. Um, damage from lunges are increased by one. I need one, I need a little bit of blockage. It would be lovely to kill you though. Feels bad to use it on that, like that, but... Ooh, you do damage too, huh? Let's do this first then. More blockage from guards. Oh, so this is like a uh, metallicized card like um plated armor plated armor you know what i'm talking about oh you're done you're done and now we get the new as a reward you can receive a long card for your own choice choose the card you like and click the take button Ethereal. If the enemy is exposed, gain 10 block. Gain 10 block and one in unsubs. Oh, it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, let's get that, that one. <coughs> You've received an item as a reward. Click on take to add to your inventory. Uh, take the potion. Open the inventory to change your weapon. Oh, that's kind of fun too. To equip your hero with a new sword, hover the cursor over the sword. Hold the less left mouse button, drag it. You can use some consumables in the inventory menu to use this cliff click. And click use. Oh, but I want to go back. Look through your deck. Look, 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 look. Go out. Okay, I can't. How fun. Uh, the day went well. We burned two villages to the ground. These people are not worthy of pity. Okay. Their contagious filth entered their homes, demons will devour the souls and enslave their bodies. They can't be saved, they came into the walls, the blah de blah de blah de blah de blah de blah. They went by the way of the rotten bog. What could have gone wrong? We train. We had to click on train. It's like why do you want more block? 
if we're like mallet gain two strength maybe yeah let's do that I'm probably gonna take a lot of damage <laughs> click on this the third event despite the wall trade doesn't stop trade me I got 600 gold arenos. On the left is your items. Items on the black background are your items from your inventory. Items on the yellow background is items equipped. On the right side are vendor's items. All items have a price indicated to buy an item, drag it. You just drag it. To sell an item, drag it from a field to the vendor's field. Sell unnecessary items. Let's take a closer look at what's available for sale. Notice the set icon. The set icon? It indicated that an item belongs to a set. When equipping the hero with one or more from one set, you will get bonuses. Ah. Elven stuff. At the end of the turn, restore five health for each evasion. Some items add some items I add item cards into your deck. Hover the cursor over the items to see its item card. Gain twelve da deal twelve damage again evasion or deal damage equals to thirty percent of the target's current HP. As you remember, you have a curse in your deck. To get rid of it, click on remove card. Note that this service isn't free and the cost increases after each removed card. Oh, this curse. When you're done shopping, I want this. Game farm armor. Recover. What is the pickles? The mask. Oh, that's spicy. I like it. What do you do? Gain one evasion and you get Elven Dance. Yes. When you're ready for it. Okay, so. <gasps> Dude, I love that it shows. Alright, let's go. On the second day, we met with those who came. For whom we came. The demons. It was easy and pleasant to kill the servants. They are not our equals. We prepared all our lives for a battle with their masters. However... There were too many demons. They pressed on without break. We fought without rest. I took down a few demons, but their place was taken by creatures larger and stronger. When first cries for help was heard, I felt that we would not win that fight. Run to the rescue. We decided to stick together until the end and not retreat a single step. The Brotherhood of Fire cannot be broken. Hell yeah. Just five armor immediately. We take this. We start with this. Oh, it's only for one of you? Evade me. And hit me. You're evading so much. Oh, I'm evading a lot. Uh, gain nine block. We don't have a lot of block, I see. Let's 
13 times what? Oh. Okay. Maybe not do as many skills. Dude, can we get this faster? Settings. Fast mode me, man. I'm not dumb. They're gonna freaking kill me, dude. Yeah, we lost our guy. I have to, man. They have 52 damage. <laughs> oh my god. Elven dance. Fuck it. Yeah. I was not supposed to win that. Forgive me, Mortis. We'll let you down. No, no. It's fine. The reinforcements didn't come. We can't manage without them. I know. You've done everything you could. And that's enough. Calm down and hold on for a bit. Health will be on their way. At least I hope so. This guy doesn't look right. So is that me, my boys? Am I the ghoul from Fallout? Difficulty. Yeah, normal. Normal sounds good. Terrible sounds... Well, it sounds terrible. Oh, my head splitting. What's going on? Is that me? Hmm. I don't even know where to start. What are you interested in the most right now? Where are we? Somewhere between the elven fortifications and the heathlands in the tomb of Ingvar. Ingvar's dead? What happened to him? The wine you brought on the trip was poisoned. Ingvar, Benitus, Bjorn, they're all dead. No. Go on, and tell me, why should I believe you? It's easy to see I'm telling the truth because their coffins are next to yours. You all died. I've brought you back to life. You're welcome. That one guy has, like, chains and stuff, man. Is it you? Me? Why would I kill you only to resurrect you? Who are you anyway? And what do you want from me? You may call me Mortis. You don't owe me anything. Just go home. Not so fast. Do you know who poisoned the wine? How much time has passed? And if Ingvar's dead, then who is ruling the Northern Gate? Too many questions, Percival. <laughs> Does that surprise you? Why did you bring me back? What about the others? All in good time. I'll tell you when we meet again. I'll figure things out on my own. I'm not so sure I want to meet you again. What the hell is going on? I'm afraid this is inevitable. Safe journeys. This guy is up to no good. I can tell you that. What? Oh, my head. Damn it. 
What the hell is going on here? Every time you die, you come back here. I could have told uh. you to start. But I wanted it to be a surprise. Well, I suppose it's better than eternal oblivion. Go on. Are there any more surprises? You've moved back, not in space, but in time. Everything that happened after your resurrection hasn't happened yet. So what now? Should I start over? You promised to answer my questions. All right, one thing at a time. Tell me everything you remember. Ah, uh, so that's like how the the story goes, huh? It always needs like uh, an explanation for how we can just repeat stuff. So I set out, feeling a vague anxiety, confused and discouraged. Okay. I couldn't even imagine how much things had changed, and I had no idea of the dangers that were awaiting me. You're a warrior. You're used to dangers. Don't blame me. Any story must have an element of surprise in it. Meet with Sigismund. Sigismund was, will not let his brother's murder go unpunished. Together we'll find the guilty parties and punish them. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh, so we choose? That's a vendor? That's a... That's a chest? That's a... Oh, no, it doesn't go there. But it goes here. And we get... Oh, wait. There's another boss here. There's no altar there, though. It's only here. What is this? Can you please uh, tell me what this is? Alright, fuck it. We're gonna go this way. Um, you five damage. <laughs> That's the easiest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. I, I don't have any buddies though, and I don't even have any shoes. What the heck? Their deaths bring you closer to your goal. Money? Deal four damage, gain one strength. Let's do that. Some elves attacked me. That was the last thing I expected. What happened? Are the elves and humans enemies now? The mysterious death of Ingvar put an end to your alliance. No one knows who poisoned the wine, so everyone's blaming each other. But the humans have always had. This is like some Game of Thrones shit, man. You mean Ingvar's people helped the elves? Actually, the elves consider the humans to be very fickle. You're Aren't a freaking right? elf. Look at him, look all elfish. Couple of doggies. Bipedal prey is easier to catch. <laughs> oh, I only got three HP. Okay. Three energy. At the end of the battle, gain 5 armor if no HP damage was taken in the previous turn. Oh, okay. Burn. Gain 1 block and one, 3 block, 1 agility. Okay. Agility is probably the... So you listened to my advice and went home? The health block, right? I went to Sigismund, Ingvar's younger brother, and the heir to the throne. To what end? What do you mean, to what end? First of all, to figure out what to do. I wanted to tell Sigismund everything I knew and 
you here Sigismund. Everything he knew. I wanted to confer with him and put together a plan for the future. I was certain that he wouldn't let Ingvar's death go unpunished. We both have much to find out. The farther I went, the more reasons I found for meeting with Sigismund. Sigismund. From the beginning. Alright, let's go to this little unknown event here. Hey! Hey! <laughs> I ran into the elven ambush and was captured. Fortunately, they wanted to question me before exterminating me. With a bag on my head, I hope in my heart, I waited for interrogation. Wait meekly for the end. I'm gonna be friends with the elves. The elves don't know better, man. Look at them, they're smiling. I was interrogated by Captain Marcus, the squad leader. I told him everything, who I was, where I was coming from, where and why. When the elves found out that I had been Ingvar's bodyguard, their attitude toward me immediately changed. They offered me dinner, an overnight accommodation, and of course I did not refuse. Camp me. Ah, finally some rest. Let's, uh, train. What's... Oh, it doesn't burn. Oh, it doesn't burn. That's cool. Uh, let's shop. Oh, the imp... The, the the symbol for the the question mark was gone. Uh, tra trade never stops. Trade never stops. Yes, yes, yes. I can't afford shit. What do I wear? You got a shield and a sword. We can't afford anything though. We can remove a card. Let's get rid of one block. Yes. I don't want to buy buying the potions and stuff yet. Ooh, let's go to the chesticle. Opening a chest. I try not to think about the fact that they may be robbing someone. Mummies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't... Oh. Gain one strength upon losing armor. Gain maximum HP and gain five bombs. What the frick is bomb, man? At the start of the... Restore one per... Oh! This is healing stuff. Let's get that. Equip it. I had been planning an easy trek through the sunny city, but I quickly realized that the first band of elves to come across me would put an end to me. I had to find a way around the elven lands. You could go west to the Rotten Bog, which is home to the mysterious worshippers of the Might Cult, or go east to the Orcish hunting grounds and the Earthworm Caves. Dude, this place has some et established lore, man. I don't even know which one I like best, but the choice is always up to you. Unknown event. While passing through a clearing on a bright moonlight night, a strange man approached with outstretched arms. He offered me a sword. He explained that the sword was looking for a new owner. I ver warily examined the stranger. My suspicions was aroused. He seems indisposed. Uh, no. Look at the eyes. I'm refusing. They say that free cheese was only found in the mousetrap. Yeah, you're like a evil something. I don't trust you. Yeah, look, they keep changing this too. Elven hospitality. Alright, let's fight.
Yeah, this is the bomb. Yeah, let's start. Hacking you. Nothing happened? What the fuck? We take a little bit of damage. Be careful with him. So it doesn't go down? That's pretty cool. What goes down at one? This one is done. I didn't kill you. I thought I killed you, but you have armor. No. <laughs> it doesn't go away. It doesn't go away. All right, all right, all right, all right. Stop goofing. New boots goofing. Yeah, let's go. I was thinking maybe one more round so I can heal up to five. Card draw is always good. But more of that. Elixir of Purification. And burn all status cards. That's super cool, dude. Now, this is the altar. An elven idol allows you to make an offering to the primordial spirit, forest spirits and receive their gifts. Uh, get a card. Get an item. Tr upgrade two cards. Remove a card. Upgrade two cards. Can I choose? <gasps> I can't. You can burn. You can burn. Oh, I don't have any... Okay, that's cool. Alright. Upgrade one of you. Yeah, we don't gonna rest. I'm not gonna rest. So we can upgrade the last freaking agility thing oh you can you can upgrade in different ways draw one can you do two you can If this is going to be a long fight, you know. Try as I might, I can't remember how I came to the frontier or how I died. You were accompanying Ingvar on a peacekeeping mission to the frontier. The dwarves and the elves were on the verge of war. Only the Lord of the Northern Gate managed to bring them to the negotiating table. And Ingvar is one hell of a guy, dude. The rise of your party ruined everything. Why weren't our bodies returned home? As the dwarven invasion began, you were buried hastily. And Man, he has an answer for everything, though, doesn't he? The affairs of the living, as ever, turned out to be more important than the problems of the dead. Ah, uh, look at his little freaking Doug Heffernan smirk face. At the end of the journey, an arch druid of elves was waiting for me. In my previous life, I would have been glad to meet him, but not now. 
Uh, but not now. I will just not get used to the idea that the elves were now our enemies. Blue elves. Either way, he's one of those who has ordered to kill all humans. Okay. When injured, changes intent. Okay. No, oh, that's bullshit. Wait, wait. Okay, let's uh we we get five armor. But I wanna kill you though. Oh they barbed. Gotta remember that. Let's get some of this. We're, we're building, we're building. We're building up to something. <laughs> That's the freaking miss. Okay, we gotta, we gotta get rid of the misses. That's super annoying, dude. Okay, let's kill this freaking wolf soon, huh? Summon wolves. Maybe we should just don't care about the freaking wolves, man. Or just kill the wolves. Now we can attack him. What the hell? Arch Druid's gonna freaking turn into a werewolf? Remember, if it gives us a bunch of bleed, we can get this, right? Should have gone the other way. We're gonna take a little bit of damage. Beautiful. Okay, attack him. Let's uh let's get some armor. We can't. Troll blow. More heal. What the fuck? Why 
Why not just kill him? What the fuck happened, man? What happened there, man? Why couldn't I... Why couldn't I hurt him? What is going on? Why can't I hurt him? He has a bunch of evasions. Now we got him, right? Yeah! Defeat the Arch Druid. Take the gold. B double current strength. Ooh. Playing lunges increases damage for six of the first lunge played in the next turn. Damage by six. Double damage me, baby. Champion Sword. Yeah, let's get the champion sword, dude. At the end of the turn... Ooh, these are all great. What do I have? Nothing. Fucking sucks. Five strength and five agility. Maybe it's okay losing the the thing. Ooh, crystal. Upon playing the will of the forest spirits, restore twenty health to the heroes and allies. Gain a random effect barbed strength of bomb for each card in hand. Cards cost zero. Return the burned cord of your hand. Cards cost zero sounds fun. Especially if you get the one with the overdrive. Sigismund was your friend in your past life. My only friend. My only friend. And you had the notables fight. Can you imagine one time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a good friend. No, of course not. <laughs> I got from the frontier to the swamps without incident. It was a challenging road, but at least no one tried to kill me. Well, that's good. As soon as I entered the rotten bog, the attempts on my life resumed. Okay, so let's see. We don't need the altar. The altar was less cool than I thought. We can go like down here. Get the chest. Sure. A little early for you, my friend. Oh, you? When losing HP, there's a chance to add a status card to the draw pile. If no HP is lost, gains. Okay. Status card to draw pile. Hmm? Hemorrhage. If in hand at the end of turn, take two damage for each HP lost. All enemies restore one HP. Or I kill you. Not to get in your way. 
Tit for tat. Every time block is gained from cards, deal four damage to a random. Ooh. Reduce maximum edge by ten until the end of the game. Gain four unsustainably. Let's do the golden one, man. The undead Tits for tats. The swamps. They prey upon outsiders. Yet yes, the yes. undead of the rotten bog are not fully. So we can meet an undead. The undead. Right, but strictly speak, they were brought to this state by the cult's ritual drink. Ichor of might. Sounds gross. Um, I think I met a reduced copy of the Divine Might. Its swollen, throbbing belly resembled a festering tumor on a decaying corpse, ready to rupture and blow into fountains of fetid goo. The Might shuffled its disgusting legs, dragging its precious tumor along the ground towards me. Mites shouldn't be this big. I'm gonna freaking kill this Might. What was this up here? Mama Might and Baby Might? Oh, Might. Um. I guess this is being safe. Your hands are getting weak. They can no longer hold the weapon. Deal us damage, which sucks. Half all block. Fudge. <laughs> Fuck. Look at the skulls inside there. Look at that guy. What is he doing, man? And gain an evasion. Ah, fuck. This is immediately tougher, dude. Now we got you. And here are the big problems. Yeah. Yeah, the crushing thing is probably really good at the beginning, man. Hell yeah. Draw until there are six cards in your hands. I think we could skip. <gasps> Oh, um, we need, need shoes. Lose to agility. If an attack deals more than 20 damage, gain 2 HP. Ugh. Increase maximum HP by 10. When losing HP, gain on strength and 5 block. I guess we take this one. Upon taking health damage, Deal 10 damage and restore 5. If I get 2 of them, will that trigger it? Oh, we got both. Forge. It's only 1, but it's a burn. Uh, 1? Yeah, please. 
That's so cheap. Keep going down. When an old moss-covered cemetery appeared on my path, I merely shrugged. The rotten bog is just one big mortuary. What was there for me to be afraid of? I thought maybe at least here everything would be quiet. Well, I was wrong. In one of the crypts, I met a creature who was not dead in the full sense of the word. It didn't look quite healthy. Its appetite, on the other hand, was remarkably healthy. The ghoul should have probably starved at the cultists. Don't bury their dead. It decided to switch to fresh food. Alright. Just a color, it's not that important, apparently. You're gonna do stuff. So let's uh, open up with stuff. It's gonna burn, so let's not take it yet. Next turn, draw less cards. Yes, I do have a card taste for buffs. That's some damage. Give me more cards, my guy. There we go. Screw you. Uh, reduce maximum health by blah blah blah. Nope. Nope. Mm, no. A nice hat? I started to lose one strength and gain one agility. No. When taking damage, take away one strength from the attacker. Sure. We haven't used this a lot. But let's do. It is a good card. Do, do you have, like, way too many potions? No, not way too many. Ghoul finger. Where, 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 where was the might thing? Trophy? No. Maybe trophies doesn't last that long. Give me chesticle, please. Let me just see. We have no head. We got no head. So what is this? Increase maximum HP, gain 2 bomb. More bomb. Gain five barbed. We don't bleed people. Let's get the head. I 
I helped an elf out of the swamp. He turned out to be a druid making a pilgrimage to the five sacred trees. One of the trees grew right here in the rotten bog and the druid had got lost searching for it. For his salvation he decided to give me the power of the forest guardians and asked me what type of blessing I wanted to receive. He'd better have told you where to find the sacred tree. What for? I won't go into details. It's something like an idol. Okay. Uh, let's... Remove. A, an attack. Yes. Yes, quite. A wooden platform brought me to a dilapidated chapel. To think that the supreme gods were once worshipped in this place. Having looked inside, I realized that the building was damaged. It's all gone bad. The cult of might resembles a regular religion to some extent. It's just a dark parody of one. I'd say. Yeah, this stuff up here, man. What is that? Can unpleasantly surprise you with their exceptional vitality. Okay. Upon death, reborn. Okay. This fucking sucks. You won't get anywhere. No shit, Sherlock. Now that's strength. We need it. This is actually cool. This fucker's gonna kill me, dude. We do heal a lot, though. Yeah, the finger is really helping us. Healing a lot. Man, my deck is fucking sucks, dude. Where are all my... All my attacks, man. 
I have none, almost. God damn it. Are you kidding me? I didn't die? And I died! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, okay. We almost leveled up. Of course, winning battles makes you more powerful, but losing a battle makes you more dead. Remember this before you go searching for a fight. Change class? Continue on your way. Change class? Oh shit! That's cool! Huh! Choose perk. Choose perk. Where the perk? Where the perk at? Next. Ooh, what is this? Bestiary items card, Percival, Vanadis, Bjorn. Huh. Now this is a cool game, man. Restart battle. There's even a restart battle? Yeah. Knock on the coffin lid. It's out now. It's been out for a long time. It's been out since August 8th, I think. But, uh, yeah. that's This is a really good deck builder, man. It's like a much more story-driven. It's got a lot of mechanics. So, uh... It's a lot to get into, it's a lot to learn. But uh, yeah, it's fun, man. If you want to try it, it's on Steam. I don't remember how much it was, probably 15 bucks or something. 20 maybe? I don't know. Around there somewhere. It's definitely worth it. It's super fun. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, that's amazing, that's great. But most of all, I just hope you have a good time, you know. And uh, yeah, as always... Until next time. Later, Gator.